Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. 60 and Me is a community of women who are aging beautifully and want to look and feel on the outside like they do on the inside. And I do a lot of makeup tutorials and product reviews. And over the last few months, I've uh, been experimenting with new products uh, that have ingredients that I wasn't familiar with and shared those videos with the community. And a lot of women have said that um, they thought that my skin had improved because I do videos all the time. I do one every day and so people can see me all the time and they say yeah something seems to be better with your skin it's glowing it's a little bit healthier looking and uh, what do you use so I did a number of different experiments I tried all kinds of creams and products and I wanted to share with you my routine you know what I do in the evening and in the morning and uh, and share the products of all the ones that I've looked at I really do like the most now, um, as, I'm, as you can see, there's no makeup on at the moment at all. There's, no, there's no, nothing on my skin. I've just woken up and I am going to show you what I do first thing in the morning and then I'll go through the evening as well. Although I won't apply them, I'll just tell you which products. And if you want to get like a full story on each of the products and what they contain, you can go up to amazon.com or um, you can read, watch the videos I did previously but I will give you a highlight of what I do. Okay, so now I have washed my skin obviously this morning and I wanna share with you what I do from, for a cleansing perspective. And please, no judgment here. I do something that is probably completely um, unusual and I don't know many people that do clean their skin this way, but I've done it forever. And this is the way that I love to clean my, my face. I know the appreciation of exfoliation, I know about toners and all those things, but I don't use them. What I use is Pond's Cream. Now this is a huge tub, you can see. <laughs> it's one I've reviewed in a previous video. It's a rejuvenating anti-wrinkle um, cream. And I've used Pond's Cream, I think, since I was a little girl. I always stole my mom's and put it on my face, but I put some Pond's Cream on, rub it in, just like I used to use coconut oil, but I've gone back to my Pond's. So you rub that in, and then I use my trusty flannel to just really rub in uh, and you know, take it off. So that becomes my exfoliation device. And I use the Pond's Cream and it leaves my skin just normal, clean and glowy. And I don't wear a ton of makeup, so I don't need uh, you know, to really scrub the, those pores to get everything out. This Pond's Cream works perfectly for me as a cleanser. So that's what I do to clean. Now, the next thing I do is I put on in the morning um, a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid product. I've, I've reviewed this one before, it's True Skin. And True Skin Vitamin C is 20% um, vitamin C, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. I tried several different ones of these, but this is the one I, I feel for me worked best. And of course, um, hyaluronic acid is in a, a natural sponge. It, it absorbs moisture and keeps your skin moist and plump. Vitamin E is really good for um, these free radicals that are in the air to sort of help to uh, you know combat pollution and dust and just sort of clean and it's like an antioxidant for your skin. And then of course vitamin C is very good for you for building collagen and um, establishing firmness in your skin. And for me, this particular product by True Skin, whoops, I'll show you the front of it. That's the one that I chose. And it was funny, after I showed that to people in another video, people came back and said how they used it too. They discovered it as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my, on my fingers here. Oops, I can just show you. I'm gonna do my skincare treatment here while we're, while we're talking. So I dab it on very you know, gently all over my face and my forehead. And already, I mean, you can feel, and of course I'm touching my face and that makes it a little red but you can see it starts to just fill in the gaps. I don't put it on, um, on my eyes, but I'll, I do it around my eyebrows. So that's what I do with my True Skin Vitamin C. They do a lot of different combinations of this uh, C and hyalur hyaluronic acid and um, E, but this is the one I like. I'll leave the link for you. The sec second thing I do is I put on some facial oil. Now again, I've experimented with quite a few facial oils and a lot of them I really love, but right now I'm staying with the one that I discovered um, about a month ago. It's Fig and Yarrow. This is in a tiny little bottle, can you see? But it's um, $20 and it's lasted me, all, well, it's half full and it's been about a month. You don't need very much of this and the bottle size is misleading, but it's about $20 for this size. 
It's a botanical product. It's got all kinds of um, uh, rosehip, squalane, argon oil, and uh, evening primrose <laughs> plum. It's a very strong botanical um, facial oil. So put a little bit on my fingers and then just dab it around my face and just kind of press it in. And you can do um, some nice massage exercises with this too. And just, you know, just really, really enjoy the scent as well. It's got a beautiful smell and put it up in the forehead too. Um, I tend to focus more on the cheeks and the chin and uh, you can bring it down a little bit into your neck. But that is the facial oil. I swear by facial oil. I think honestly, if there was one thing that I could say I have uh, that's changed the condition of my skin over the last three or four years, it's facial oil. I use another one kind, Growing Younger Nat Naturally, which is a beautiful product too. And then I've got some others I alternate, but I do like the Fig and Yarrow. It's really, really uh, moisturizing and leaves your skin just feeling great. So that's kind of where my morning begins. And then of course, I'll put on my makeup. But before I do that, oh, the cream, excuse me, after I do the facial oil, I'll use a moisturizer cream and it has an SPF. Um, I tend to use the, um, oh, where's it gone? The, I use two different options here. I'll either use the um, Boots Number no. 7, which is the Protect and Perfect. That's got 30% SPF and I really do love this cream. Um, I've used it actually before. This is, says it's the advanced formula, but um, I really do love it. And the other option that I choose sometimes is the L'Oreal Golden Age. If I can put it in the right place. The Golden Age. Now I was a toss up between these two, but on balance, um, I think I'm gonna go with the Boots number seven, but the L'Oreal is a good product too. But um, I'm gonna stick with my Boots number seven. And that has, as I said, 30% um, SPF because so far I put no SPF on my skin. So I want to make sure I've got something that is going to be a really strong um, protection for me against the non-existent sun today. But there is um, even rays coming through when the sun's not shining. So I'm going to pop a bit of that on my, on my skin. It's a nice cream. It's very, very lightweight. It doesn't feel, you know, if you're gonna put um, makeup on after, it's not heavy. It doesn't feel sort of greasy. It just feels very, very moisturizing. So that's my boots number, number seven, protect and perfect. So that honestly is about it. I mean, of course, you know, I, I'm almost 70. There's, there's little wrinkles everywhere. <laughs> you know, your skin's not gonna, these skincare products aren't going to make everything vanish. But you know, for 60 year old skin, it's not bad. And um, I think that uh, from here, I'll put on some makeup, but I do that before that, want to just tell you briefly what my evening um, routine is. I use um, another True Skin product. This is a similar product to the morning um, vitamin C, but it has some retinol in it. It has retinol and it also has um, hyaluronic acid. And I'm looking for my glasses because it's got one other thing, which is um, nacamide. Now I don't, I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's got vitamin C in it too. And this is because of the retinol, I use this in the evening but it's a very similar consistency to the morning one. And I thought I'd try retinol. And again, I've been doing it now for about a month, which isn't really a long enough to see the benefits of retinol, but, um, but that's what I do in the evening. Then, now this honestly is my treasure. Um, I, I ordered a number of different skincare products to try them. And this one was almost a mistake. I didn't even really know what it was going to be like, but this become my go-to evening um, cream, evening day, night cream. I just love it. Now, I'll say right up front, it is not an, an expensive product. Um, it's called Skin, S-K-Y-N. It's from Iceland. And it's got some super interesting uh, things in it. I'm gonna to try to find my notes here because it's got all kinds of um, things that are related to nature. It's got products from the, from, the, um, from the earth and I can't find my notes, but I can remember this. There's uh, two different things. There's one plant that's apparently survived the ice age. And then there's other um, plants from, from, uh, Nor from the um, Iceland area that have uh, really strong um, powers to rejuvenate and moisturize and strengthen the skin. What I like about this cream is that it feels like it's doing something. It, it doesn't tighten, but it just makes you feel like it's um, absorbing. And you know, it says it rejuvenates while you sleep. 
And of course, that's what a night cream should do. <laughs> but um, but I'm really, really happy that um, I've actually had an opportunity to try this one because um, it, for me, it's become my night cream of choice. And as I mentioned, it's $65, or did I mention? It's $65, but it's a quite light, large jar. It's, um, I think it's 1.50 um, some grams, 56 grams. And I love it. So I will recommend Skin uh, as my night cream and you know, if you've got the ability to try it, I would highly recommend it. And you can actually look, I did feature this on another video too, so you could take a look there. Or go to amazon.com, read the reviews. People love this cream. It gets a, um, a significant number of five-star um, uh, mentions, and um, I think it's great. So for the evening, that is all I do. I put the uh, True Skin C with retinol and the Icelandic um, Skin product, S-K-Y-N, and that's it for sleep. Then when I wake up, I obviously do the same that I just showed you. So that's it. And I've got 10 minutes here. We've been chatting and I don't want to go too much further, but I've got a really special day today. Um, I'm going into Zurich in a few minutes as soon as I get ready. And I'm going to take some pictures of um, the, the shops there and a couple of my favorite places. And I'm going to put that video up on our Patreon uh, site where we do exclusive videos for um, for people who uh, subscribe to our Patreon um, uh, um, site, patreon.com forward slash 60andMe. So that video is going to be shown later, but um, I wanted to share with you a couple of makeup products. Just as I go out the door, I'm going to put these on and they're ones I haven't talked about before. Um, well, it's one for sure I don't think I've covered, but I've discovered this um, product and I, I just honestly want to share it with you. So I'm going to just do a quick makeover here and um, just take maybe five minutes max. So I'm going to use an old standby foundation that I've used for a long, long time. It's um, Max Factor. It's called Elix um, Ageless Elixir Miracle. It's with a serum. So it's very lightweight. I use number 50, which is a kind of a light color. It's light between light and medium, but I really, really love this. Um, I, wear, I wear it all the time because it's super, super easy to put on. And I just, it's a, it feels more like a moisturizer than it does a, a foundation. But I find it stays on all day and um, it's just got a nice, nice feeling to it. So I'm gonna just pop a bit on my forehead. I should probably be able to really do this almost in my in my sleep. <laughs> um, but again, that's that's going to be it for my my foundation. I'm going to grab my mirror just to make sure I haven't missed anything. I always do. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Yeah, nothing you can do about those little bags under the eyes. I get good sleep. It's just part of aging, isn't it? And it's just something you have to embrace. Okay. I think I've got everything kind of blended. Now I'm going to use a cream um, a, a blush. I've got my e.l.f., which I've showed you before, but I really love this particular palette. It's got four colors, pinks and kind of um, a peachy color. I'm going to use this peachy one up here because I'm going to do peach today. And I'm going to just put that on the cheeks. It's a lovely lightweight uh, blush. I can put it on the little rose tip of my cheek there and go back. Don't go too crazy. We've talked about creams versus powders before for blushes, and I just, I think it just depends on your mood. And I think if you're and if you're into a more sort of not dramatic but um, a formal look, uh, cream them with a bit of powder on top. This is really great with um, if you put it with uh, orgasm from Nars. That uh, powder um, is really really pretty together. So I'm just going to just double check here. There we go. Okay, so that's my blush. <clears throat> I'm going to use um, top. Uh, it's called Trend It Up for my eyebrows. It's a little um, eyebrow mascara. Thanks to all the people that commented about my eyebrows, they're really difficult, but you know, they're not a super big priority for me. Maybe they should be, but I'm just gonna do the best I can with this little product. And uh, hopefully, it's, a, it's just like a little coloring shaping device. Uh, Ariane Pool does a really good one of these and also Benefit does one. There is, they're everywhere now. But I'm gonna just start, this is the one that's higher than the other. So I have a technique of kind of bringing it down a little bit. Do you like my mirror? I made this mirror. I love these things. Okay, let's see if we can, oops, a little too much there at one go, but it, it actually just tints the, the eyebrows a little bit. And just bring it down just a tiny, tiny bit. See already, you can see that's a little bit better. Now I'll do the other side. Oops, and don't have to work quite as much on this one because it's, it's a little bit um, fuller. 
All right, so that's my eyebrows. That's gonna be okay for the day. Now, the next thing I will do is my um, uh, lips, or oh, the mascara, excuse me. I'm using e.l.f. I've got my little e.l.f. mascara. I actually like e.l.f. products. I decided to just try them both today because I really do like them. And um, it's a big brush. It's, it's almost like the Benefit, um, is it Bad Girl brush? It's quite big and it works for me just as a quickie. So let's here, put this mascara on. And e.l.f. does another nice one too, which is um, a little brush. Uh, like a chubby one that you can get into the um into your eyes you know, or the front you know, the, the center of your eyes excuse me while i just do this here quickly okay i think that's probably i'm not going for a crazy it's a daytime look okay All right, so that's eyes. Now, the thing I wanted to show you really the most, though, was the lipstick. Okay, and I hope I can do this on um, on the screen because I'm looking at my phone and I, it, the product is Huda. Are you familiar with Huda? If anyone's actually done any investigation in Sephora recently, you'll see they've got a very big Huda counter, H-U-D-A, and their lipsticks are, well, they're matte, uh, but they come with, and they're just amazing for me. And I don't even use um, a lip liner when I when I apply this. I always take up, make sure I take it off though, just so it's not too heavy because you can layer quite easily. But what you do is you just basically treat the tip of the brush like a lip liner and just shape your lips and, um, and then I'll show you what you do. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do this into my mirror because I wanna make sure I do it right for you. So. Yeah, I just you literally just line the the lip. Okay. Hard to talk while I do this. Okay, so you can see I've lined the top and the bottom of my lips. And I sometimes will go in and even raise the um the little the center of my lip a little bit and make it a little bit more exaggerated. Okay, and then I fill it in. Okay. And you can bring it all the way to the edge. And you see how that looks? I can't really get too close to the camera there, but you can see it gives you a really, really beautiful um, shape, I think, to, to your lips. Now, I actually um, will wait a couple of seconds for this to dry. I may dab a little bit more on because I just like the color, but it just, it dries to a matte finish. And then this is what I did. I found another Huda product. It's a gloss and it's actually um, a darker color. But if you put this, it's actually got a little bit different brush as well. But if you put this on top of the one you've just applied, it, it makes it more natural because this is matte and um, it works beautifully for long lasting effect. But if you touch it up with this, it's, it's really special. Watch this. Okay, see, isn't that pretty? So that is my Huda um, demonstration to you. You can buy Huda on Amazon, you can buy it around different places, but it's not as, it's not as um, available as other, other product lines, but I would definitely encourage you. They do this as a kind of brownie peach color, but they do a beautiful pink, and they do some exotic ones too. They do golds and like really crazy makeup ones, but if you want just a very simple, beautiful look, I think this is great. And that is it. Now they also do, I must mention, they do a, a concealer and it is a Huda concealer. They must do 20 colors of this, so you really have to like try them all out. But what I will sometimes do is put um, a little bit of cream on underneath my eye, just, just literally dab it on, like not um, heavy at all. <clears throat> I'm using my, this is Ella Bosch, which is another cream that I adore. It's a night cream, but it's so expensive and I and um, it's not even available anymore. So I, I'm not even gonna recommend it, but it's very good for just something, a little bit moisturizing under your eye. And then I will use a tiny bit of this uh, concealer. I know that sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but the, the dryness of the concealer actually um, sort of works with the moisturizer of a cream. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or anything, but 
it just kind of works for me and I like it takes a little bit of the darkness of the um of the wrinkles under my eyes and I'm going to just check and make sure I've put everything together you can put this on here too <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of what kind of a typical going out for the day look is like. I hope that you found the uh, the, uh, mo the morning and evening treatments helpful. I know some of you have asked, and so I'll write it all down in uh, in the bottom of the article of the video so you can follow along if you want. But I hope it's been great. I'm looking forward to doing more of these makeup videos and tutorials with you. Um, I love skincare now as a priority in addition to makeup. So I hope that you're with me on this journey. Thanks again, everybody, for being here. It's wonderful to know that you're there. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.